what's good YouTube your boy Eric back with another video so last night I decided to do Grubhub I signed on at around six o'clock decided to uh, to look for a block and lucky me there was a block available for 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. so three hours so I said let me log in grab this particular block and see if I can't make some quick cash so so I just wanted to give you guys a quick recap of the night so started off first order came in about 15 minutes after I got started and was pretty decent order um, eight dollars and thirteen cents and yeah you know, accepted that order uh, drove to the restaurant and that was a pretty straightforward one it was actually it was actually pretty cool because as I was telling someone else on their video is that with Grubhub you could get these short deliveries for eight dollars that you don't usually get on Uber Eats from what I've heard so this delivery was literally going quarter mile so I picked it up at I picked it up at 830 got back to my car the GPS says I would get to the destination by 832 so by 830 what am I saying 830 733 I was dropping off the order I was done with that one so, so that was great um, the next order now so just a quick side story I was actually trying to go out and purchase a TV last night yeah, in between in between calls so I leave that order I'm headed towards the store um, to go look at the TVs as literally like I'm about two minutes away from the store another order comes in this is also an eight dollar order that's taking me back to where I was coming from and I was like damn at this point now it's eight o'clock and I'm like damn you know the stores are gonna close at nine o'clock really kind of wanted to get the TV tonight so I accepted the order, went to the store, and I went to the store, I had to wait like 15 minutes. So I was like, damn, I should've just went, after I accepted the order, I should've just went to the electronic store, then go pick up the order. But it worked out, it was all right. Went over to the store, as I said, had to wait 15 minutes, got that order. That was going maybe about a mile and a half, two miles, boom, $8.20. Dropped off that order immediately now, yeah, dashed over, uh, drove to the electronic store to pick up the TV. As I got there, got into the store, I st I'm still on it as available. Got into the store, um, I'd already looked online, saw which TV I wanted. So I went in there, looked around, boom, made the decision. Another order comes in, right? So I accept that order. I go to the cashier, I check out the TV, right? Uh, pay for that throw it into my car and then head to that pickup got to the restaurant and this is one of the things that I don't like with some of these places it's the wait time the wait time sucks man so I get to the restaurant it's a burger and a smoothie the burger is ready but they didn't do the smoothie so I have to now wait for them to do the smoothie I got another order right around the corner for um, for a restaurant right around the corner so I so I'm like alright perfect so I'm there I'm waiting for them to make this damn smoothie I get a call from Grubhub and the dude was really really cool uh, I believe his name was Chris so shout out to you Chris if you're watching uh, um, but he was like hey man I yeah I see you at the restaurant I see you not moving just wanted to give you a call because the client or a customer called or the diner called something like that so I said, yeah, man, I got here. They're not, you know, they didn't make the smoothie. I'm just waiting for it. So he's like, all right, no, don't worry about it. After you um, pick up that order, just go pick up the other order, but drop off that order first, right? So the order with the smoothie, drop that one off first because that was the first pickup order. So they got done, drove around the corner, got the second order. I look at the addresses, right? and the second order so even though that one came in second that one was straight up the block like maybe about a mile away this the first order with the smoothie was going like basically on the other side of town and I'm like there's no way I'm gonna go on the other side of town drop off this guy's order first then come back over here on the other side of town again to drop off the second order 
I pick up that order and I just boom dropped off the second order first and then go to the um, go to the smoothie guy drop off his order um, yeah the the people from the same guy the dispatcher called me back again while I was dropping off the smoothie order and he goes yeah I guess I didn't put the the second order as picked up so he was like hey what's going on did you pick up that order I was like, yeah, I picked it up and I dropped it off already because it was around the corner. So he's like, all right, don't worry about it. I'll put it as delivered for you. So I was like, perfect, thank you. Knock that one out, do the other, deliver the other order, boom. So there I got two. So at this point, I'm, I'm nearing the end of my shift. I'm like, damn, I wanna just go home, go set up my TV, right? Um, I get an order for Fridays, $9 order. I was like, can't pass this up, let me take it. While on my way to Fridays, another order comes in, $12 order. I'm like, damn, definitely taking this one. So I took both of those, head over there. The first order when I got there was ready in two minutes. And the guy was like, listen, the second order only came in about five minutes ago, so it's gonna take a little while. I was like, all right, no problem, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna leave and come back because it doesn't make sense, I'll just wait. I waited again. <laughs> The the first the second order so by so that guy came back out in like 15 minutes gave me this the the, the second order and again it's so crazy the the second order was gonna be on my way to delivering the first order so I could actually do that route to drop it off so I was like that's exactly what I'm gonna do so I put it in the GPS, put in the first order in the GPS, and then put in the second order as a stop. You could do that in ways. So, went and dropped off the second order first, so the one at the bottom. So even though their order came in, came in last, I dropped off their order first, then went to the other order and dropped that one off because that one was a little bit further away, closer to my house, and I was on my way home anyway. So dropped off that second order and the dude was mad cool so the he had already tipped in the in the app and the guy gives, gives me five dollar tip as I get there so I was like man I appreciate this man thanks a lot <laughs> I was really happy for that but overall it was a good night um, yeah it kind of felt good working Grubhub again I, yeah I've been I've been on and off working Grubhub so Kind of felt good to make what now $57 on the night in total so it was a really 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 good night and you know I was happy because kind of really kind of put me back into the groove I've been working uber so much that um, I kind of forgot how good it can be sometimes with with Grubhub so to recap on the night is $19 an hour for three hours work um, not bad um, please leave your comments below any questions please leave them below oh and one other thing um, I just noticed today um, that usually in the Grubhub app you have to wait for the following day to see your payout kind of like what I'm showing you on the screen now but just got this email today you can now see how much you have made in the Grubhub app for each order right away so you can see the full balance full amount that you've made right away on the pay summary. So that is a good thing because usually you're only seeing how much the person gives you as a tip and you don't see how much you make for that particular order or how much you have been, you know, how much you have made so far for the day. The only thing with that is that they're not, you're not gonna see the, um, if you qualify for the hourly guarantee for them to make up the difference of what you, you didn't make, you're not gonna see that till the next day. So, for instance, if you if I work three hours, my hourly guarantee is twelve dollars. If I had only made thirty dollars on the night, I would when if I go into the app, I would see thirty dollars. But um, if I go on the pay summary, I'd see that I made thirty dollars. But I wouldn't see that Grubhub is gonna chip in the extra six dollars the f you know, until the following day. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. But as I said, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below try my best to get back to everyone so thanks for checking out the the video guys you guys have a great day peace